In the Vibe Shearwater world, the John Papa mod is a pretty popular rudder mod. Uh, Jordan Petrini took it to the next step by adding some quick releases on it. I really like the way he did it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a quick little video here, maybe five minutes, and show you how I did it on my Vibe Shearwater. Uh, I used both. Uh, I have it on two different Shearwaters. One's using a Vibe rudder, and the other one's using a Bixby rudder. And uh, it works really well. So thanks, you guys, for, for leading the way. And hopefully it's gonna help some other folks out. It's really, really simple to do and it works great. Enjoy. Okay, here's our starting point. I will, uh, down in the description, I'll put what we have as far as parts are concerned. But basically, these rope lock tie downs are the starting point. We're gonna discard the 550 card uh, cord, I'm sorry. We're going to discard these guys. Those are actually going to have these little loops put in their place. <clears throat> this is going to be the mounts that are going to go on the rudder. And this is what you need as far as the, uh, as far as securing the mounts to the rudder itself. It's, it's pretty basic stuff. Probably the toughest part of this whole modification is to remove these clips and put these clips in there. But it's really not that difficult to do. All you're gonna have to do is remove these two screws, take the top off, and then put these guys in there uh, in the place of these clips. It's really not too tough to do. Okay, this is what that tie down looks like with the screws removed. Remember I told you, you gotta take this guy off, put that in our parts pile, and we're just gonna put one of these on. Put the top back on and screw it down. See if I can do this with one hand. I know I can't screw it down with one hand. But the top just pops back on there. And we'll put the screws on. And that is what's actually going to hold on to your cables coming from the kayak, the rudder cables. And that will be our finished product. So if you look at this, these are the two parts that are going to fit on the rudder. So what's going to happen, you start to see how this is coming together. The quick releases are going to go right into these parts here onto the rudder. And that's how, that's how it all works. And it's all quality components too. I mean, it's, most of it is, uh, it's uh, all quick release sling mounts. So, uh, you know, they're, they're gonna hold some weight. I've had it out on the water already and uh, it does work and it works really, really well. I'll show you the turning radius at the end of the video here. It's a big improvement. You just take your mount, put your bolt through, used a pretty large fender washer on here and I use the nylon lock nut on them. So all I have to do at this point is tighten them down. I prefer, we'll go back to this angle. You can mount them straight like this. My preference is to mount it canted up slightly. Um, that just helps so that nothing gets caught up on the hole of the kayak. So instead of going here, I prefer here. I don't know that there's a right answer Six months from now, maybe I'll find out that the answer is to have them like this, or like this, or like that. Who knows? But um, my preference is to have it canted up slightly, so you're not hitting the hole right here. All I need to do is tighten those down now. So there it is mounted. Be a good overall view of everything, and they actually hold in, hold in place pretty well with that little cant there. Okay, next step is take your rudder cable, loop it through the tie down, just pull the tie down down. These will release by pushing this button and you just pull that down. Okay, so when we're done, I have my mount on the rudder. I have the quick release here and all you basically do when I put these on, I make sure that the release is up top 
you push this button, push it in, and you're good to go. So when you have the rudder pedals adjusted, which I don't at this point, that's what's gonna, that's what's gonna uh, do all your motion. You can take that all the way down. I don't have everything adjusted, but you can take that all the way down to the, to the hull. You wanna quick release them, push the button, and you're good to go. So there is no confusion. This is obviously the Vibe rudder. This, however, is the Bixby. So guess what? Yep, you guessed it. It works on both of them. Okay, when we're done, this is what you have. Here's your quick release. Push the button. And it comes out. Very secure in there. You can see where I've got the cable through here. See how everything goes in there. And when you're done, this is what you should end up with the turning radius. Look down at the motor. No better angle. You see it really pushes that rudder, moves that rudder around. You've got quite a turning radius now.